object we are going to make schematic out of the pick of the PCB now this is not a straightforward process every time we make a schematic then convert it in, in, uh, into the PCB then we export the Gerber files but to make it simple in just one minute I will explain what is the process of making the PCB inside the GuyCAD this is the pick from the Wikipedia first of all we start with the schematic then we add the component then after adding the component we do the rule check and after that decide the which footprints we set up for that component and then we make a generator net list and from that net list we make a PCB and from that net list we do the routing and the final plots are made now our target is to make a schematic from the PCB now the, to understand the reverse flow if we go by this flowchart you will not understand it very quickly so I have one, one made a simple presentation which will help you to understand it so this is my first slide all I have for you is a word tenet actually it's a net it's a net list that is the answer to the question as we go in the forward process in the KiCad from schematic to the PCB we the KiCad make net list in the background that net list connects the pins from one component to another now imagine you have a PCB it is a P or a pick of the PCB and that from the pick of the PCB you, you want to make a schematic now the one thing that comes into your mind is we have you have to make the tracks and after tracks you get the schematic it's not a, uh, that easy process but to understand it you need to understand the net list it's just the connection between two pins okay now let's move on to the second screen when we start a project in KiCad we build it from schematic now there are some things that you should understand in the KiCad project there are two files one is a PCB file and other is a schematic file so to create the schematic from the PCB you should make the PCB file first and from that PCB file you will make the schematic file and I think the method I'm going to explain is uh, not suitable for double uh, more than two layers PCB if you achieve that then it's great so let's move to third slide to do what we do we need some idea about the threats we are going to face now see every schematic software or any schematic software does not hold all the schematics or the footprints we might use for complete project so some schematic symbols or the footprint symbols you have to make it by on yourself or use the snap ida or octopart any website you are compatible with and using those footprints or schematic symbols you can just uh, use it inside the project so uh, my suggestion is keep keep the, those schematics and footprints uh, footprints downloaded and then you go for the schematic design next so when you make PCB layout from the pick you are doing the tracks but KiCad don't give the tracks by themselves to those uh, to those tracks you uh, it KiCad does not give netlist to the tracks so you have to set up the netlist to those tracks and set that netlist inside the schematic so it's like in, in in reverse direction so we will see how to achieve that from the uh, PCB view to the schema view so that is just porting netlist from PCB to the schematic it's in reverse now last thing which is most important when you are doing any project in KiCad make it auto save or save is manually okay in uh, within one or two minutes because you uh, KiCad may feel sad or it might get 
it might die without notice and it will you have to again do all the progress from the start so with those things in mind so let us start the tutorial of making the schematic from the pcb we are starting our tutorial now so there are few things and we will go step by step so first we will make project inside the KiCad and import the PCB pick inside the PCB new and disable import netlist setting in some net options so let's see what are those so I have made one project inside the KiCad that is by file new project and uh, save it in some folder so this is the project file that is a P KiCad file we are not going from the schematic toward the PCB now it's a reverse process it's from the PCB toward the schematic so I will start this PCB file PCB, uh, PCB, uh, PCB file and we will move forward now I am here so I have made two parts uh, to, uh, to let you understand what uh, how, how, how this is achieved so next thing we import the image inside the KiCad place add image and select the image and it will be placed inside the KiCad you can follow my uh, other tutorial for this also so this I have imported next depending on the footprints depending on the footprints you will decide which footprint you will use so I have used this SMD1 and this other uh, register. Now, as you move, as you can see, as you can see, depending on the tracks, what is the width? I have drawn the, I have drawn those tracks depending on the width. Now, if you observe, I have given the net list here uh, or the net to the track, but you might uh, you might be wondering how to give uh, net to the track so it's uh, not that hard process consider you are you have made this track okay so this track don't have a net name so what you will do you select the track press e and there is no new net option you cannot add the new net option but when you type here new so it will give a create new so consider i am setting a new net list and set ok now it will be changing the paths of that ic one and two so you can change it if you want so now see this is new track added new net list added and those tracks also have changed net list so let's i just undo that okay now here we are now as per last tutorial depending on the footprint and the tracks we have added the components and set up the tracks now next process is how the next process will be how to set up these footprints with the netly uh, uh, with the pads and the with the schematic so let's move next disable the netlist setting option now in this option most of the time you will be you uh, you have used this of uh, this option from forward direction that is updating the schematic changes now when you go there you have to unlink uh, unset all this because it will uh, by mistake or by practice or uh, doing the same thing again and again it's a muscle memory that you will forget about this so keep it uh, disk, uh, unchecked and move forward next part this is the second step draw tracks and use desirable footprints now see this put this footprint was available inside the KiCad library so that's why you uh, I install or I use that uh, that footprint inside the project but you have to download some footprints from the internet or using some sites so depending on your project depending on the type of the IC whether it is VGA, SMB or DIP you just download it from the internet and use those footprints next step 2 uh, sorry step 2 
make new schematic file in a project and put symbols now from the project project so i have this schematic file now this schematic file is created let's see the schematic file is created now how are those tracks are made now from these tracks to these tracks so first of all when we put those tracks those footprints these are just the footprints so these footprints are depending on the which component you are using whether it is the four pin eight pin etc etc now this is the uh, this is the uh, symbol for this footprint that we know but KiCad doesn't know yet so we have to tell KiCad that put this footprint belong to this component and this component belongs to this footprint and and what are the pins pins are there so in this uh, in this part we we have to set up the link between those now step 3 put reference on each footprint put same reference in schematic and the pcb put netlist to tracks in pcb new now see this is this is just hard to read or hard to say but practically it's very simple when you put the footprint inside the pcb you have to just go to the properties manager and copy this reference or set the reference whichever you also want copy it and go to the schematic and then press e and set that same reference here that's all now when you set it up you whether it is working or not whether the link is made or not you can see by clicking on the component if you click here this footprint will be selected and clicking on footprint this will be selected now the one thing i have observed here at the end of this uh, footprint or the reference give the integer because if you don't give the integer it will malfunction i just show you say i give this smd e is the reference here and then i again go here and give the same reference here now it will not it will it will not get linked see it will not get linked see it will not get linked that's why give integer at the end of it so i have given the link for word and reverse now both way link is working now if you observe here there are pads for those ic or the pins for those ic we have to see if those pads are also showing up now see eight number pad is there then seven number pad is there then six number pad is there now i should i tell you a trick just put this schematic out of the focus and just click on the pad so it will automatically center I again show it yes, 6 and again come in here now from the image from the image you have made those tracks and and after made, uh, making the track inside the PCB you have to set it up inside the schematic now depending on the component you have set up the set up the symbol here so let's understand how the net is uh, or the how the wiring is done inside the schematic so let's click on the 8 so this is the pin number 8 and this is the component which is this component but we don't know which uh, which pad we have to say click on that uh, uh, set the track on that so we will again click on the pad so we will it will show the pad now 8 number is here and pad number 2 is here so we will draw the track so in this way you can set the track now we know uh, we gone from PCB to schematic now th this was the part 1 so this was the part 1 example so let's move to part 2 it's a bigger example so in this project in this part we will use sim 800 
सिम एट हंड्रेड आई सी एज ए रेफरेंस सो यूजिंग दिस एज ए रेफरेंस वी विल ड्रॉ दिस पैड सो आई विल एड वन ट्रैक हिया दिस इज द ट्रैक दिस इज द ट्रैक कंसिडर दिस वॉज दी सी बी वी मेड सो नाउ वी हैव टू सेट अप ए नेट लिस्ट सो वी विल सेट अप इज एज अ डबल ई सो दिस इज द डबल ई नेट लिस्ट एंड वी विल सेट इट फॉर दी पैड्स ऑल्सो नाउ till we this two part is we have to connect now let's see if those two parts are connected or not yes these two parts are connected so we just summarize what was the process in this uh, in the properties manager we will select the reference and we will set the reference using the e inside the schematic so let's move forward so we just draw this track and we don't know which pins which pin we are using we can directly go with the pin number say 16 or click on the pad number 16 it will show the 16 and then second pin on the pad number 24 so we can set the track so in this way you are making tracks out of the pcb pick inside the schematic so this this is the complete process now it's not actual process but you can use this process to make a schematic out of the pcb so let us start and let's uh, understand what was the process again we imported the pcb pick we set up the footprints and made the tracks we then give give the reference to the component we added to the symbol uh, to the Uh, schematic we give the same reference but the thing you should understand give the integer at the end of it and when you give the integer at the end of it then only it will get connected otherwise it will again show some errors now then we click on the pad we understand which pad we are using and then draw the line in this way you can make the schematic for double sided pcb actually tenet movie if you if you have seen the tenet movie it's from forward that means from schematic to the pcb and pcb to the schematic it's just like a inversion but the middle thing that uh, helps us a lot is the net list and and the process of setting the net to the unknown track is most important and giving the name on the, and the references to the footprint and adding the schematic symbols to the file inside the schematic that is also one step which is it which uh, decides whether your schematic will be completed or not so this was the process this was the process to make <coughs> make the schematic out of the pcb i hope uh, this uh, tutorial was also helpful for you and i will try to make some inside more deep uh, deep video just like this and let's see if what what we come up with in the next so thank you for your support subscribe and share